y'all. So I have put together this contraption of a baby monitor together. So, and I put it together, you know, reading the destructions because y'all know destructions are very important. Um, so this part is like the cigarette lighter and like you push it on, push it off. So this part will have to stay in the front of my car. Um, this portion, I'm going to clean off my, um, like the little section right above my, um, like where my radio and stuff shows, like my Bluetooth connection, all that stuff. I'm gonna set it up there. Um, and then it was like, oh, your cords can be hidden. And I'm like, yo, these cords are ridiculously long. Like, look at this cord. Ridiculously long. Um, which is so crazy. But it seems pretty much like self-explanatory, like setting it up and whatnot. It's just this cord is obnoxiously long. Um, so then the cord this part is like the little camera or whatever so, and then it comes with these little straps and you strap it around the headrest so i'm gonna place this back here and then i'm gonna get in the back seat and try to do it from there okay so what i realized is i have a lot of stuff in my car um that is plugged up like i have another like lighter charger back here um, that I should probably use. So it says to lift the headrest up so that you can better like fixate it or whatever. So let's see. this way first which I'm not sure how to do like maybe do I need to flip it around or whatever the case may be okay so I think I might have put these little straps in wrong like maybe they need to go like the other way first so that it's kind of like easier to velcro it i don't know let's see thought someone came out the house And I still did it wrong yet again. It needs to go like this. Lord have mercy. Okay. Okay. So I've re looped it. I'm gonna pull the seat up again. to go lord have mercy it doesn't say all right i gotta go look at the destructions again okay y'all so got the destructions here um raise headrest of the seat you wish to install the camera on place two straps vertically through the bracket so it says to tighten it horizontally and then um, okay um
let's see it doesn't really say how to put the straps in here so I'm gonna put them the way that I had them originally just because it just seemed to make more sense to me don't look at how I'm looking right now I look really rough I'm tired the baby is teething and not wanting to go to sleep and he has a doctor's appointment in the morning which means more shots so I know he's not going to be in a happy mood tomorrow so I have already taken off from door dashing tomorrow um because I just I, I, yeah I'm not going to be able to do it tomorrow so let's see so adjust it and then it says to do the horizontal one first so so this one I'm going to do the vertical one. Okay, so it seems to be chilling, I guess. It looks weird, but it's up there. Um... I think it's fine. So then it says the method for switching mirrored image and normal image through the thin white line, which is like, or white wire. So that's this little wire here. Default is the mirror image. Um, okay, so it says the product image is mirrored by de default. If the camera is fixed on the front seats, meaning like these ones, the child will be facing the front, so there's no need for further steps. If you need to, f the flip image, uh, cut the white line as shown. After you cut the white wire, the location of the camera or the way the baby seat has changed, where you're now required to show the mirror please reconnect the white wire on please reconnect the white wire power off and on the device again we'll show the convert well how so if i'm to cut it so that i can see him That's a little confusing. After you cut the white wire and the location of the camera or the way the baby seat has changed where you now require the monitor to show the mirror image, please reconnect the white wire. White wire. But if I cut it, how am I gonna reconnect it? Power off. And power on the device again and the image will be converted back to mirror image the white wire on camera extension wire okay so that's a little confusing I'm gonna have to get my dad to help me on that because that's like really confusing But the good news is it comes with a three-year warranty, so that's nice. Um, but, yeah, that's that's confusing. So, as far as, like, the wires and stuff go, I'm going to, like, keep it hidden in between the seat for now. Just because that's the best that I can do for this situation at the moment. So all I'm doing is just tucking it in between the seat. Um, nobody really sits back here, so it's okay. It's not a big deal for me. Um, 
So now I'm gonna come back up front and try to get this monitor up tight and see what we can do. And while I'm in here, I'm gonna do some dusting. Got like a whole little baggie of stuff in here that I need to do, so might as well. So I'm back up front. Sorry y'all, I'm doing a whole lot of moving around and stuff. But y'all remember from my T-Move video how I got this little duster? Well, your girl is dusting, okay? This whole car is just full of dust and I'm convinced it's the reason why I'm always sneezing. So I'm gonna do some dusting real quick. Like I told said in the video where I got this, I need to like get some wipes for my car, but that can wait. So I'm just gonna do some quick light dust in here. It's crazy how dusty my car is. Sorry, my face is all in the camera and stuff. Okay. That's as good as it's going to get right there for a second. But look at this. It's already, like, gross from the dust. Ugh. Okay. So, like, this little lever, like, gets this to, like, stick. And then you have the monitor in place. So, I'm going to stick it. Peel this little sticky stick part off. very sticky very 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 sticky okay so yeah that's about as good as it's gonna get i'm gonna show y'all how it's looking right now so here's the monitor here um i gotta peel this little screen off thing here but it's officially looking like a mom card now see this is the cord for it and like they were like oh just like what am i supposed to do with this this is crazy. And then, you know, I got my little seatbelt things here. So maybe I can just like tuck it for now. So all I did was just like kind of tuck the cord down for the most part for what I can do. Sorry, y'all. Like, when I say my car just needs a whole detail, I'm not kidding. Like, this car is just filthy. So, this is, like, the best that I could do. Um, I found some, like, Timu things that I could, like, get to, like, clip this so it's not, like, in my way. So, I'll figure it out. I'll figure that part out. But, for the most part, it's installed. So, now I'm going to try to see if it works. Okay, y'all. So, for the most part, it works. Um, this is the side that's closest to me, obviously, so I'll be able to see him. Um, let's see. They said, what did I do with the destructions? Oh, back here on the floor, of course. So, it says in the destructions that there are, like, three buttons on the, um, the monitor. And it looks a little crazy because there's still like a film on the lens um, at this moment. Um, so like the middle button's the menu button. So it does all of that stuff. This is down, I don't it's not doing nothing. Um, it says press the data. What the heck does that mean? So if I press up, it doesn't do anything. But the menu button, I got you. So if I press the menu button, I can increase the brightness. Down decreases it. Um, you can do that with different things there saturation contrast all that fun stuff so now i just got to take the lens off and show y'all what we're working with okay guys so i didn't get to record me actually using the baby monitor um for my car but i did use it yesterday um my son had a doctor's appointment and um it was actually my first time taking him to the doctor by myself 
um, so I wasn't in the back with him. So I'm really happy that it came when it did, um, which I think was Monday. Um, but it works perfectly. Oh my gosh. Like I could see him. If I said his name, he'd look up. Um, so it, it's really worth it. I think I paid like $23, 20, I paid under $25 for the camera. Um, the only downside about the camera is the cords, um, which I have to figure out a way to like store them or not store them, but like hide them sort of in my car. Um, but I definitely give the product like a 10 out of 10 for sure. Like I would recommend it to like all my new moms and stuff. Um, it's safer. It has an on and off button. So like I'm getting ready to go DoorDash now. So obviously my son isn't with me. So it's not even powered on right now. So it definitely is a plus and it's definitely a must have. Um, so I do like having the camera. Um, I feel like when I am driving him by myself, it's going to come in handy a lot. Um, but that is all that I have for this video. If you're not already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Make sure your notification bell is also turned on so you can get notified whenever I release a new video. Um, make sure you follow me on all forms of social media. And until next time, bye guys.